Hi guys, Nisar here from Beta Mites. So today's NumPy interview question is that uh, how do we create some random sequences of numbers inside a NumPy array without hard coding? So that's okay to create some manual numbers inside a NumPy array, but can we do it using some some functionality on top of some very small NumPy array to create a you know, a, a, a bigger NumPy array, which, which has number in some, some, any sort of random sequence as such. Can we do it? Let's see. Um, so for that, I'll just import my NumPy. I'll say import NumPy as NP. And then I'll just create one very small NumPy array. I'll call it to be A. So A equals to NP dot array. And then I'll simply put one, two, and three. Let me check my A. Yes, A is a NumPy array, which is having a number 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so let's uh, put some NumPy's functionality to create some randomness inside this A NumPy array. And then we can do some more in order to make a big or bigger NumPy array. So there is, is a functionality of NumPy array. It's called as repeat, np.repeat. So simply, if I put my NumPy array inside of it, A, and uh, if I say comma three, and if I run this, we can see that each and every element of this NumPy array got repeated three times. So first, this one got repeated three times, then this two got repeated three times, and then this three got repeated three times. So this is one of the functionality. Uh, there is one more functionality, it's called as tile, np.tile. Simply, if I put my numpy array, and again we say comma 3, and if I run this, you can see that the numpy array itself got repeated three times in its own sequence. So the sequence has not been changed. So we see that how repeat is repeating each and every element three times because we have mentioned three and tile is also repeating, but the entire sequence of the NumPy array on its own. So if I just put this into a new variable called as B and uh, let me just run B over here and let me just put this in C and run C over here. And simply if I just use my concatenate function and if I simply put my B comma C and we know by default the axis is zero and anyways this is a one dimensional numpy array so it doesn't have any axis apart from zero so it's going to get you know added on the basis of axis equals to zero so if I run this you can see I got some bigger this time random but not hard coded sequence of elements inside a numpy array so this is how we can create some random sequences in a NumPy without hard coding. Okay. Thank you.